For only the second time in the save, we begin our European journey. Welcome back, guys, to Sun of Scotland 90. It's the FIFA 23 Hearts Korean Mode. We're on episode 65, the big 6 5. We're getting up there. We're into season 4 now. We've had an okay start to the league. Things haven't been great, but what would make everything a lot better would be if we can start our Europa Conference League with a win. Now, I didn't expect us to be in this. As you know, last year we finished fifth. I kind of thought that we didn't qualify, but it turns out we are in Europe, and I want to make it count. I want to have a better European campaign than we did first time around, because let's be honest, it was embarrassing, but I feel like the squad has came on a lot better since then. We've added new players. I feel like we're much stronger, and I do feel like we've got key players in key positions to make a difference this time around. So that is it, guys. We're taking on Genk in the opening game. So we'll be travelling to Belgium, and let's just hope our invasion of Europe goes better than the Germans, because like I said, we want to win this one. We don't want to be losers. So we've got Genk up first, then we've got Hibernian in the Edinburgh Derby. Massive episode. I'm looking for two wins. Can we do it? We will find out right now. This is it then, Europa Conference League, guys. RKC Genk versus Heart of Midlovian, man. Goose pumps. I've got them. We need to get a result here, man. I want to get a result here. Racing Genk will also be feeling the same. They'll probably look at our past record in Europe and they'll think this is an easy matchup. I'm looking at the group and it is pretty close, you know. I'm looking at all four teams. Not much between them. This is a group where I think we should be looking to top it, but at the same time, you know, if we, if we finished last, as, as much as I would be disappointed, I wouldn't be that surprised. I don't think there's a massive difference between all four teams, but I'm just hoping we can make a difference tonight and get off to a good start. We're not, we're, we've not got our strongest squad by any means, so that's a slightly disappointing. Look at the fucking hair on that guy. Um, but yeah, that, he's wearing a man bun, right? I cannot lose to a goalkeeper that is wearing a man bun. We have to win this now, 100%. Now that I've seen that, uh, the pressure's just got even bigger on us. But yeah, I mean, this is not the strongest squad. It's not ideal. Uh, we're without some top players tonight. We're without Barry Mackay. We're without Gu Song. We're without Suter. Uh, obviously, Ginelli's out injured, as is uh, Halkett. We've got a lot of players missing tonight. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Romero as well. I even forgot about Romero, you know. So, you know, this by no means is anywhere near full strength for us, but I'm hoping that it's strong enough to get us off to a good result. Now, away from home, you could consider a draw here good, but yeah, no, I, I want to go for the win, so that's what I will be going for, and that is him. Look at that, Martin van der Fort, the man with the man bun. Right, just cannot be losing to this team. They're going with a 4-3-3. A three, three. Looks pretty attacking, to be honest. The, the midfield looks pushed up there, at least on the graphics, so yeah, maybe there'll be Chances here for us to counter. But this is our team then. We're going with David and Nets, Cochrane, Sibbett, Kieta, Atkinson, Devlin, Benjamin, Smith. And the front three will be Henderson, Forrest and Shanklin. So yeah, lots of our good players missing tonight. But I'm hoping that the players that we have picked will be good enough. Let's find out guys. It's Genk versus Hearts. And for the second time, our European journey begins. Let's just hope it turns in to a European success and not a European nightmare like it did last time around. I tell you what, Kieta there is not had a good start here. He's left us very vulnerable. What was that? That was some shocking defending here. Oh my god, we've been done again. Kieta trying to make something happen. Oh, I don't fucking believe that, man. That is... How are we... How has he been up... How is that... Oh my Christ, honestly, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. How's he even squeezed that in there? It's, it's hit off. I think it's hit off Kieta. The defendant is fucking non except No, it's hit the goalkeeper arm. The defend. Ah, that's. Could not have got a worse start than that. Ramos Alm with the goal. Whole thing there, pretty embarrassing. And RKC Genk then have the lead. Cochrane into Benjamin. Benjamin. Lays it off to Cammy Devlin. Devlin! Ah, it's a shit shot, man. It's not good enough. It's straight at the goalkeeper and he just gathers it rather easily in the end there. Sibic down to Benjamin. We've got another chance to counter here. Henderson. Henderson now going to look for. He sees Cochrane. He finds Cochrane. Cochrane in towards 
Connor Smith. And it's another shot that it's just too easy for the goalkeeper. I mean, it, that's kind of like shots he'd, you'd hit for the goalkeeper in training, you know, you're trying to help him out. We win it back again. Forrest, Shankland, Smith. Smith to Henderson. Henderson lays it off to Cochrane again. Cochrane back to Henderson. Drilled and it's took a deflection. Will be a corner. I think Henderson had thought he was about to give us the equaliser here. I mean, it's a good shot. Although the only thing is, it's probably right at the goalkeeper. The corner though. We do get a chance. Corner Smith. His delivery is not bad, but it's headed away. Devlin will be first to it. Devlin will bring it down. Cammy Devlin. He can't give him space. Oh, I thought it was in. I thought it was in. It went wide. Look at the fans on Cammy Devlin's neck. He's frustrated there. I thought. I mean, I really thought that was in. Great strike, to be fair. Definitely the best shot that we've hit in the game so far. But wasn't good enough because it wasn't on target. Forrest. Shanklin, come on. Shanks. Hold it up. He finds Cammy Devlin. Devlin to Henderson. Oh, what was that for Henderson, man? That's quality. That's absolutely perfection. Now he finds it in Devlin. Devlin looking for Connor Smith. It's now it's Cochrane again. Benjamin. Benjamin going to look for the cross in. Back post. No one is going for it though. And we will not score on this occasion. But we get it back. Cochrane through to Connor Smith. Smith to Benjamin. Benjamin to Henderson. Henderson lays off to Cammy Devlin. Devlin. Go try and find Shankland. Shankland brings it down. Takes a shot. But it can only win a corner for that. We're all over Genk here, man. Honest to God. I don't know how we're losing. Ball back out. It's going to be Connor Smith. Going to launch it. Oh, I see he's going to launch it in. Ball didn't even go into the box. Poor cross there. Poor delivery for Connor Smith. But Genk are making a mess of this. It's Shankland. Outside the boot. Puts it wide. Another great opportunity. But Shankland couldn't hit the target. And what do we have to do to get back on level terms here, man? We're pummeling Genk, but we just can't get the goal. Civic. Oh, it's good for Toby Civic, though. He, he just cuts that pass out. Then he will play it up to Henderson. Henderson to Benjamin. Benjamin is going to find Shankland. Now it's Lawrence Shankland. He's going to hold it up. He's going to wait for support. Shankland will play it to Henderson. Henderson in a shitload of space here. You and Henderson... Chips it in, potentially a handball there, but instead it will be a corner to Genk. And look at that, man. Man City, they're killing football. Honestly, 96.5 million for, from Gravenbeck. Shankland again. Nice ball through to Henderson. He's lifted it into the box. It's headed away again. But Benjamin, back out to you and Henderson. Henderson, delivery in. It's a great ball in, but again, there's no takers. And it will be fired back out where Henderson will header it down to Benjamin. It's Cochrane. It's given away, but Benjamin will win it back. Benjamin to Hugh Henderson. Cochrane again. Chipped it. Oh, I thought it was heading for Forrest at the back post. But no, Genk managed to get rid of it. Oh, and that's a nasty challenge. And I think that will be a, a yellow card for, I believe, Cammy Devlin once this play gets pulled back. If it gets pulled back. Good tackle for Cochrane. And the ref, that's a joke. That's a fuck it. And I tell you what, he was last man. Cochrane could be sent off here. Embarrassing. Fucking embarrassing. We won the ball 100%. That is a joke. We we win the ball. We, we, we get a touch on that. You can clearly see we get a touch on that. And after dominating this game, we're now a goal down, a man down, potentially two down here. If we don't take care of this, Civic does head it away. Could be an opportunity for a counter. We can win it back. Oh, sure. oh, good save by David. Last thing we can afford to do here is go to an... And, and Devlin did get pulled back. He did get a yellow card for that. I thought a yellow card would be the worst of our worries, but no. Cochrane got a, a red, so what an absolute joke. Now David will throw the ball out to Henderson. Henderson flicks it down into the path of Connor Smith. Smith to Benjamin. Benjamin's going to try and look for Forrest. It's actually going to find its way through to Forrest, luckily. Now it's Forrest. He's got Connor Smith running through. He's... Oh, fucking Alan Forrest. What are you doing? Another good tackle. And that will be a goal kick. So we've got a minute to go here. Can we do anything before half time? I, I doubt it. We so little left on the clock. We've headed it in towards Shankland. It won't matter because the referee is blown for half time. And uh, yeah, we trail here at the break. 
by one goal to nil. Malmo and Ratko are both drawn as well. So as things currently stand, we would be bottom of the group. Uh, we're probably just going to change it up and go three at the back. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to sacrifice somebody in one of our attacking roles. So yeah, we're just going to go three at the back. Uh, will I leave Atkinson on, or do I bring? I'll bring on Nielsen, and uh, I'll probably play Civic as the. Who's got the best pace? Uh, I'll probably play Civic as the centre back. Yeah, we'll do that, and uh, we'll just get straight straight into the second half, guys. We're playing well. I don't want to change things up too much. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame that we have to be down to ten men. I feel like we get players sent off far too often, though, and it is beginning to cost us. I need to. I do need to calm down. Some of, some of the tackle, uh, tackling is reckless, erratic, but at the end of the day, that was a good tackle, man. We did win the ball, so uh, I am frustrated that we got the red card, but you know, you just can't afford to get men sent off every single fucking game, which is what we seem to do. So, yeah, need to prevent that. Kieta wins it back. Sebic now, let's go. Sebic to Connor Smith. Connor Smith now, we've got Forrest, but we don't use Forrest. We go on our own, and Connor Smith will now. Oh, what's Forrest doing? Get it. Got on the pitch. What the fuck is Alan Forrest doing there, man? Waiting off the pitch like an absolute tool. We need you on the pitch to make a difference. Give me an option and he's, he's sitting on the sidelines. Unbelievable, right? Sh Shanklin, come on. Shanklin will win. Win. He'll spin around. He'll look for... Awful. Absolutely terrible there, right? Again, Devlin gets it back. Plays it to Nielsen. Nielsen out to Henderson. It's back to Connor Smith. Well over hip and Connor Smith slides in. Doesn't get the ball back. And Genk will come forward. Devlin, Devlin's late there, and we're going to win the throw. And thank God, I, I thought I thought we could have been down a nine men there. I could have seen a second yellow, but thankfully didn't happen. Right, come on, Smith. Oh no, again we, uh, again we we give away the ball there, needlessly. Great tackle for Kieta. I was half expecting the ref to give a free kick, but no, he didn't. No, Ben Benjamy. Benjamin charging forward. Benjamin will find Shanklin. Shanklin will take it down. Shanklin back heel flick to Smith. Benjamin. Cammy Devlin. Forrest. Chests it down. Oh, and it's saved. That honestly, fuck. How is that not went in? I feel like that should. we should do better there. Right, come on. Connor Smith delivery looks good. Shanklin was there, but Toby Civic will be first to it. He flicks it to Henderson. Henderson out to. Connor Smith, it's a decent ball in, but again, no one contesting it. Oh no, Civic, what is that? Toby Civic, they're getting wrecked. Ball out to Alm, the goal scorer. Oh, and he's just passed it straight to Cammy Devlin, right? Come on. Cammy Devlin now, running into the Gent calf. Devlin to Shanklin, Shanklin back to Devlin. Great bit of play here. Cammy Devlin! Oh, he's hit the crossbar, man! You shitting me! Right, I'm going to bring on Finlay Pollock. I know it's a big game for a young player, but something needs to happen here. Oh, Island Needle pass there from Benjamin New Shankland. We'll hold it up. You'll find Forrest. Forrest going to try and get it back to Shankland. There's a lot of space here. Lauren Shankland must score that, and he does. We're back level here in Europe and Belgium. It is Genk 1. Hearts won, and we totally deserve this. In fact, we should be winning, but one step at a time, we're back on level terms, so I will take that for now. Shanklin just could not miss Philia, and he did not. He got his back on level terms, in fairness to him. So, good strike, good finish for Shanklin. It's 1-1, but, I mean, that's not enough. Even though we are down to 10 men, even though they have a man advantage, I'm not content here with the draw. I want to see if we can push and find a winner. Shay, oh, we've been blocked here. Oh, that's a great save, though, I tell you what. Civics went right through him. I'm, I'm actually shocked that we haven't brought him down and conceded a, a penalty there. Kiet has been booked. I'm not too sure what for. It will be a corner, though. We need to defend this, but a great save by David. I cannot believe we didn't give away a penalty. Civic has literally just, like, slid through him and, and managed to not make a connection, which is incredible there. Uh, but we still need to deal with this. And at the moment, we're not dealing with it. But at the moment, oh, David went a good save from... A short distance, and that guy cannot quite believe that. I get tell you right. Ever since we made those changes, ever since we got back level terms, Genk have uh, just applied all the pressure here, and they are looking like the better team. But we're hanging on. We're hanging on for dear life. We'll probably take a draw now. In fairness, I do not want to lose this, especially after working so hard to get back level 
with um, with our Belgian opponents. Oh, great challenge for Civic. And now we can maybe counter with Pollock, who's got no pace whatsoever. So we have to turn back and Pollock still holding on to the ball. It's not a great ball, but we find its way through to Grant, new George Grant. Grant will try and look for Patterson. Patterson will bring it down. The strength of Callum Patterson. It's impressive, right? Shankland, it's Benenjami. Oh, and Benenjami just can't lose like that. Surely not. Genk again coming forward. Oh, we're being, we're being pulled left and right here. Oh, and Civic's just fell and done his ankles in. Nielsen here trying to make a challenge. We need to defend this. Come on. Genk here. Dangerous. Saved by David. And that might just, uh, that might just get us a draw here. There's not a lot of time left remaining. Benenjami is going to hold on to it. He's found Shankland. And who knows, maybe we could even win this. Shankland looking for... I don't know who he's looking for. We've found Patterson. Patterson wins it back. and gets it to Shankland. Lawrence. Lawrence Shankland for distance. Strikes it. Blocked. Let's take a deflection. A minute to go. Is there any time left? Can we... Shay is through to Moon. It's Moon. We need to... We need to... Time's up. And Nielsen will commit the foul. And it's going to go... Oh, he's kept that in. He's kept that, he somehow kept that, and Nielsen with the ball back. Nielsen will just try and clear it, and that will do it. It's going to be full time, and I think we made that harder than it really needed to be, but it is full time. We do get a point in our return to European football. I feel like we deserved a lot more. However, at the end, we were kind of hanging on, and I'll probably take it, but yeah, I feel like we could have done better. I feel like we could have won the game. But the other game was a draw as well, so it leaves things pretty evenly poised, you know. I mean, all, all four teams with a point after match day one. And you know what, it was way from, at least we didn't lose, you know, got to look at the positives. We didn't lose and, you know, kicking off our European campaign with a defeat would have been a disaster. But yeah, let's give our post-match press conference then. Let's see if we can answer the right question. So Cochrane's going to be suspended. Yeah, sucks. Um, We'll be okay, I'm sure. We just need to stop getting red cards. It's as simple as that. We get far too many. Didn't look good at half time. No, it didn't. However, we were the better team. So, um, uh, yeah, we were resilient today. You know, we fought hard. We came from a losing position and we ended up getting a point. So, happy enough with that. Uh, there wasn't much between the teams today. What did you make of the result? Um, uh, the players gave me everything. I wish it's true, you know. On another day, we, we probably would have won that. But, Considering we had 10 men, I thought we did do well to come back and get, get a point. So, uh, yeah, happy enough with the with the draw. And, you know, it, it gives us, it puts us in a decent position after match day one. But now we turn our attention back to some domestic football. We're not used to playing in Europe, but what we are used to is destroying Hibs. And hopefully that's what we can do when we travel to Easter Road. It's very close. They've got eight points. We've got seven points. So, yeah, I would go as far as saying this is a must win for us. If we lose this game, then we will have four defeats in our opening seven matches. Man, that is simply not good enough. We need to win. A win could move us up as high as maybe even Aberdeen. So, yeah, a win could put us into the top half of the table. That's all you need to know, and that is what I will be intending to get. In terms of the other games, we've got... Rangers against Dundee United, we've got Kelly against Aberdeen, we've got Celtic against Mullerwell. So I'm hoping that those results go our way. The teams that we want to drop points do drop points. Although, I mean, let's be real, at this stage of the season, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, we just want to win. So we will try and win. If Celtic Rangers drop points, then great. But they've both got home ties, and I both expect them to win. But you know what? That's what we need to do. We need to win. Here's the Hibs team, then. They're going with four all in nets. Mitchell, Bishuri, Orlana. Doyle Hayes, McGuinness, and uh, it's a weird formation, they're going with Cabrera, Henderson and Boyle, and on up front they've got Melkerson. Every time we take on Hibs, they always seem to have a new goalkeeper. And they've got two new goalkeepers today that I've never seen before. Anyway, we're going with Clark, Kingsley, Suter, Sibic, Atkinson. In the midfield, we're going with Benjamin, Romero and Devlin. And our front three today is Barry Mackay, Gu Song. And Balua. Balua didn't have a great debut against Rangers. Hopefully today goes better for him. 
Barney McKay got the pass for Kingsley. Kingsley's making the run. Can we find him though? No, we can't. Benjamin will find Romero instead. And Romero, burst of pace, gets past McGuinness. Romero strikes it. And the uh, referees gave advantage to Hibbs there for some reason. No idea what, but I don't know. Oh, Suter got back quickly there to prevent any sort of Hibbs shot. But Civic's been booked here for. Don't even know what for. We'll see the replay. I didn't see much in it. I mean, he's kind of just jumped over us there, but whatever. It's a free kick to Hibs. I think it's too far away to to score, so I imagine this will be getting launched into the box. Actually, no, it struck at goal and it struck straight at Sander Clark, who makes an easy and off save. Melkerson gets past Suter and Suter again just sees the ball for a corner. Good defending for Suter. 15 minutes in, still nil nil. Ball into the box, but Nenjame. And Suter will get ready. It's going to fall for Barry Mackay. Romero plays. And Barry Mackay's down. And that's not good. That is not good. He's holding he's holding an arm. So hopefully he's all right. We win it with Benjamin here. Now it's Romero. Gunsong. Gunsong trying to dribble his way through the defence. But isolate it. Four on one. And he came out second best. And I tell you what. Civic's just been sent off again in Edinburgh Derby. It's late. It's very late. And uh, we've made a big mess of that. We've made it, and there you go, yeah, red. It didn't get a second yellow, well, he got a straight red. And uh, for the second time in this episode, we go down to 10 men. I mean, it's one of those tackles where if I don't make it, then Hibs probably score. But what would you rather? Would you rather be 1-0 down with 11 men, or would you rather be 0-0 with uh, 10 men? I'm not too sure, but... And it's actually Devlin that's injured, which is even worse than Barry Mackay. Another easy save, though, for Sander Clark. Ball launched up, Gunsong will flick it on, but again, this flick's not good enough. Now Gunsong will take it in his stride, and Gunsong has been... Oh, no, he's not, he's got amazing strength. And it's still Gunsong then. Plays in Romero, a great ball here, and Romero's going to get to this. He's going to play in Barry Mackay, but Mackay just couldn't get his head on the ball there. And Devlin, no, he's won it. Good stuff here, we're fighting back. Come on. Devlin to Benenjame, flicks it up and ro runs away before the ball even landed for him. But we get it back, it's Gunsong, Gunsong, Song! His shot takes a deflection, Balua, can he get to it? He can, but he can't get a header to a Hearts player. And Hibbs should be able to clear. Ball out to Boyle. Martin Boyle's cut inside. And Martin Boyle, just like that, is giving Hibbs the lead here. Can't believe that. Martin Boyle, simple. He's just took it in the defenders and he has put it in the back of the net. And the goalkeeper, we did kind of bring Clark to try and put pressure on Boyle, but didn't work. Pressure. Boyle doesn't feel any pressure. And now it's us that is under pressure here. I mean, look at Suter getting his big lumpy body, or at least trying to get his big lumpy body in the way. Didn't work, though. And we're 1 0 down the end with Derby. So just switching to three at the back again, like we did in the last game. We've got three centre backs now. Atkinson, Suter and Kingsley rather than taking a player from uh, further up the field because we're trailing the game. We can't really afford to drop a midfielder or an attacker you know, into the defence. So yeah, we'll just make do with three centre-backs for Lua. What can he do? I mean, I, ex I expect a little bit more for Lua. We haven't seen much from him so far. And that shot, it's not a million miles away, but at the end of the day, it's not on target. It's not good enough. Gunsong brings it down. Gunsong looks, sees a gap. And he's found the gap. He's going to go for the gap. It's Gunsong. Can he squeeze it? Oh, no, he can't. I thought he'd put it in, but it's a save by the goalkeeper, the new goalkeeper. And it looks like he is pretty good after all. Barry Mackay, delivery. Romero jumps over it. Kingsley back out to Barry Mackay. Mackay, back post. Baloo is there. He can't win the header, though, and it's away by Hibernian. Ball header back in. Gunsong brings it down, takes a shot. Swipes at it, but Hibbs will again stop. Oh, bro, what a tackle that is. Kingsley then, first to it. It's Romero back to Kingsley. Kings and Kingsley can't lose it there, and he does lose it for fuck's sake. Come on, Stephen Kingsley. Romero, Gunsong. Gunsong, go get the strength for Gunsong. He has improved so much, and he's going to strike it. Oh, and he's had cracked the crossbar. Rebound, Gunsung. Can't shoot. Can't shoot again. Two shots. Two fresh air shots. Jesus Christ. Two shots, and he missed the ball. 
twice. Unlucky, they're so unlucky. And Hibs somehow survive, and they could be do about to do more than survive. They could go 2 0 up here, and they do on the brink of half time. Unfucking believable. Gun Sung literally inches away from giving us an equalizer. Then he, he swipes a, a ball for about seven yards out, eight yards out, that you'd think would surely have a good chance of going in. He misses both times, and then Melkerson goes up and puts in the back of the net, and now Hibs. Or 2 0 up before the break, and Jesus, is there any way back for us? I do not know. Half time, Hibs 2 hearts now. Blue, come on, Blue finds Gunsung. Gunsung again has got space in front. Oh, he takes it around his man, he shoots, and it's another great save off the Hibernian goalkeeper. We're, we're, at least they're making a change very early here. Ball into the box, it's going to be towards Kingsley, it's headed away. We need to try and get this before Hibs. Hibs can launch a counter here. They've got men forward. They've got men forward, but oh, they do get the ball out of there, man. Just when I thought we could do enough to potentially win it high up the pitch. No, and now it's Martin Boyle. If, I, if Hibs got a third goal, it's all over, surely. And that could do it, and it is. It's 3 0. And I, 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 Sander Clark, I think, has to do better there. It's Doyle Hayes with the goal. We've been caught on the counter. Ben Enjimi should do better as well, to be fair. You can't really allow him to get that cross in. It's a great strike, though. It's a great finish for Doyle Hayes. I do think Sander Clark should save it, though. I definitely think it's saveable. But either way, it is a good strike for Doyle Hayes. I can't take that away from him. And Hibs now have a 3 0 lead here. And we're down to 10 men. I felt like we need to get the, the next goal, and we haven't got it. So I don't know. Can we possibly find a way back into this game? It's not looking good. Well, in Sutter. Jesus fucking Christ. It's 4 0. And we're going to have to make changes here. It's Alex. I don't even know who that is. Alex Price with the goal. Terrible. Right, here we go. Humphreys, Shankland, you know it. They're coming on. Devlin's picked up a knock. He's going off. Can we get back in it? Uh, we're going to need a bunch of quick goals. We're going to need like the quickest response ever if we are going to get anything out of this game. Right, Balua, come on. You've done absolutely nothing, son. Good song finds Shankland. It's Humphreys. Humphreys to Barry Mackay. Mackay. Balua trying to find Good song and he only does is find the Hibernian goalkeeper. Right, Romero, Humphreys, Good song. Good song to Shankland. Shankland. Shite for Shankland, but we've won. Uh, looks like we've won a free kick. We're going to bring on Forrest for Benjamin. Romero will drill it from distance. Oh my god, Romero, what a goal. What a goal for Romero. It's a shame that we're 4-1 down now and it probably won't even mean anything. Well, that's an absolute belter of a strike. Goalkeeper, no chance. And it's 4-1. Great, great goal for Romero. Look at that, boom. No chance to keep us saving it, man. Right into the top bins. Romero wins it again. Come on. Romero out to Mackay. Mackay through to Shankland or Forrest even. I don't know who it is, but he should score. It's Goon Song. He must score. He does score. And all of a sudden, we went for being 4 0 down with no chance to 4 2 with 16 minutes to go. I don't know, man. If we can if we can get another quick goal and that Alan Forrest must have he needed to score that. But I tell you what, Goon Song does score it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we need a goal. If we can get it within the next, like, ten minutes, then, you know what, we do give ourselves a chance of maybe snatching a draw here today. Oh, great for Kingsley, come on. Let's go. Balua. To Goon Song. Back to Balua. Balua now to Forrest. It's back to Balua. It's Forrest. Goon Song. Balua. Shankland. Shank. Oh man, Shankland there. The pass. Just simply not good enough. Forrest trying to find Romero. It's the ball over the top. And. Oh! What the fuck's he get? Yeah, can't, yeah, he's gave Hibs a free kick there for absolutely nothing. McCurdy brings it down. 
Oh, and it's just been saved by Sander Clark. He keeps us in it with five minutes to go. Still, I think we need to score here. Basically from here, right, come on, the counter. This has to be pinpoint perfection. And Romero could be away here. I tell you what, Romero is away. If Romero takes a good touch, he's away. Romero is away. Romero, he had to score that. Gunsong turns back, finds Romero again. Oh, what? How the fuck's he missed? No wonder he's got his hands in his head. Oh, his hand in his head even. That is unbelievable. That That's a chance for us to get a draw. If we score that, the draw's on. And, and we've somehow fucking missed. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. That would have gave us like probably about four minutes in total to try and get one more goal. And Romero has absolutely ruined it for all of us here. I cannot believe that. Hibbs looking for a chance to put it all oh, a good tackle for Suter. Again, I don't think we have enough time left to get two goals. It's Humphreys. Three minutes added on time, but through to Shankland. He's, Shankland's going to try and get away from his men here. It's Romero again. This time Romero puts it wide. And yeah, Romero, the last couple of minutes here has just killed any chance, in my opinion. Of us getting something at this game today. We've tried, we've fought back, we've battled, but yeah, we ain't going to get nothing. Ball up. Come on, Sutart will not win it, but there shouldn't be enough time for a fifth goal, or will there be enough time for a fifth goal? What do I know? There's going to be a fifth goal. No, it's went wide of the post, and that is it. That is it. Hibernian have done it. They've beaten us by four goals to two, and... You just can't give anybody a four-goal lead, let's be honest. Uh, we weren't good enough today. It was an even game. But when you, when you give them a four-goal head start and you're down to ten men, you're always going to struggle. And look at that. Rangers actually got beat at Ibrox, so that was a chance for us to catch them up, and we did not. Uh, bad, bad result there. Uh, and, you know, we should have been looking to win that. You know, we I think we're like down in tenth place now. Uh, our, our start to the, the campaign has been pretty much abysmal. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping to build on... And we actually kicked off the season with a win. That's the crazy thing, you know. We started well. We did get a win. But since then, you know, it's just went downhill. Uh, we need to we need to start getting wins in the league. So, that's what we need to do. Uh, we are sitting in 10th place. Don't get me wrong. Things are still pretty tight at the moment. You know, we're not cut adrift or anything like that. But, you know, we, we need to start putting some wins together. Celtic are now double... They've got double the lead over us, so we've got seven points, they've got 14. A monthly, I mean, we, we can still fight for the title. We can still be up in there. We know we can do this, but we need we need to start getting the wins. And uh, Our next game is against Kelly, and I feel like that is a 100% must-win game. So, um, yeah, we, we must win that, I think. Nothing but a win will, will be good enough. If we do not beat Kelly, then, you know, we may as well just hand in our notice and retire. Okay, so here's how we line up then against Kilmarnock in a must-win game for us. We're going with David and Nets, Cochrane, Suter, Kieta, Atkinson, the midfield, the Benjamin, Devlin, Romero, and up front is Mackay, Humphreys, and, uh, you know, about an 80% fit goose song. I was tempted to go with Shanklin, but no, you know what? Our South Korean man has been scoring the goals lately. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but I do expect Shanklin to make an appearance as well. Like, everybody can make an appearance as long as they score goals. <laughs> That's what we need. And what I would ideally like here... Is a win. Even if it's only 1-0. I'd like a win and a clean sheet. So let's make it happen. Devlin out to Humphreys. Humphreys trying to chip it into... Who is he trying to chip it into? It's a fucking ball to nobody. Nobody in a maroon shirt, that's for sure. What the hell is that for Cochrane? Slides in, attempts to win it back, doesn't win it back. And Alex... Oh my god, Cochrane's had a shocker so far. If he's not getting sent off, he's just giving the ball away, man. What the fuck is he doing? Great tackle for Suter, right, come on, Gunsong picks it up, Gunsong, Humphreys, back to Gunsong, Gunsong now will try and open up a chance here, it's Gunsong, he's won the corner, we'll take that, we'll take that, here we go, Barry Mackay, delivery, needs to be good, it's not bad, it's near the, the problem is, it's straight to like the smallest guy in the pitch, and when you're doing that, you know, he's, he's always going to struggle to win the fucking header. Unless he can, like, jump about five feet in the air, which most people can't. So, uh, yeah, I mean, passing it, you know, crosses into the aerial balls into small midgets don't exactly work well. 
But I tell you what, this is working well here for Alston. He is getting past Cochrane, who is getting run ragged here in the open. Oh, but good stuff, Suter. I mean, Suter's a, a giant, I tell you what. If we stick him up front, I think he'll win every single header there is to win. Oh, we've just been pegged, right? Come on. We need to get, defend this, defend this. Right, we do. Atkinson can't get to it. Kilmarnock looking good here. Look, take it round us, and we need to do Suter. Diving head off of Kieta. And that was a dangerous ball in. And if Kieta doesn't get to that, then we can see a replay from a, a Cochrane clearance off the line. So that's why you always put someone on the post for a corner. But uh, we need to defend this corner. It's going to fall for Gunsong. It will now be Romero, and he's going to bust out. And I tell you what, we could maybe play this to perfection here. Oh, well, we could have, but then we fucked it right up. Cammy Devlin, <laughs> you need to be getting rid of that quicker. Quite a tackle for Suter. I mean, his fucking legs are massive. He could probably tackle you from the other box. Right, here we go. Gunsong. Gunsong, out to Humphreys. Humphreys, back to Gunsong. Gunsong cuts inside. And the shot, he'll not want to see that one again. We'll delete that one from the memory banks. Oh, he's... No, we've been wrecked. We've been absolutely wrecked there. Who is that? Number 27. Who is that guy? I'll not be sending him a Christmas card. Neither will Cochrane. He's, at, he's just embarrassed Cochrane here. He spins around. He just sends Cochrane the wrong... I hate... Why did the keepers, like... Why did the keepers look like little fucking T-Rexes? Why did they make their arms as short as possible? Why did they tuck them in? And they're running around like wee T-Rexes from Jurassic Park. I don't get that. Evelyn Out to Humphreys. Humphreys. Finds Gunsong. Gunsong. Gunsong drills it. Saved by the Kelly keeper. We're going to take this one short. Romero now. Romero. Oh, what a ball that is into the back post, but nobody can get to it. Romero again. Come on, Romero to Gunsong. Gunsong holding it up. He's waiting for Humphreys. He decides he doesn't need Humphreys. Gunsong gets round on his own. He strikes it again, and it's saved again by the goalkeeper. Gunsong's having a good game here, but he just can't seem to get on the score sheet. Barry McKay, delivery towards Romero, and that one's saved again by the Kelly keeper. Right, come on, Barry McKay. This one puts one deeper back post, heads away, and Kelly looks like they're going to survive here. Will they get into half time? They are going to get into half time. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what. Gun oh no! Oh fucking hell no! Gunsung's down! Gunsung is down and he needs a stri- Oh my god! End the career mode now! Just end it now! Gunsung is finished! And with that, we're finished! We're beat! I can't- How the fuck did we get injured? I don't- Nah, I'm gonna sue Kilmarnock! I'm gonna sue them for like 10 billion! If, if this is like a long term injury then they are getting sued 100%! We'll have to bring Shankland on! This is the last thing we need. Trailing by a goal. And Gunsung has just been wiped out in the box here. Oh. Oh, God. Looks like he took one to the face, but then he... Fucking hell. I don't know what happened. Hopefully he's all right. Offside. Murray's offside. He has to be offside. And he, well, he's missed anyway. So it won't matter. I could have swore he was offside there. And if Kelly went 2-0 up with 55 minutes on the clock, I don't know if we'd have got back in the game. I'm not going to lie. It could have been... The nail in the coffin. Gunsung lays it off now. Romero. I mean, it's not Gun. It's Shankland. I wish it was Gunsung. Gunsung's deed. Flying in hospital. Deed. They pulled the plug on him. Benenjimi. They might pull the plug on us if we don't win this game. Come on. Devlin trying to get past his man. He can't do it. Great tackle for Kieta. Come on. Kieta lays it off to Romero. Shankland trying to squeeze it back to Romero. He slides in. He gets something on it. The goalkeeper has to get rid of it. Benjamin to Humphreys. Goal! What a strike that is outside of the boot. And Stephen Humphreys has got hearts right back into this game. Good strike. Good goal. I kind of thought the goalkeeper would have saved it. I'm not lying, but I'll take it. I will take it. And so will all the hearts fans. And we'll see again here. We just put Kelly under pressure. And it looks like they made a mistake. And then, you know what? No, it's a good goal. It's just I thought the goalkeeper... Might have got to it, so he didn't. We're back level. Now we need to try and find a winner. Great bit of play, Devlin! Oh, and it's saved again! Somehow, the goalkeeper has managed to palm that away. I don't know how, but he's done it. Romero with the corner. 
ball in, headed towards goal, and oh, Cammy Devlin heads it onto the, the roof of the net. Offside. Offside. Has to be offside, and the, for fuck's sake, it's not offside. And Kelly are back in front here. It's Kilmarnock 2, Hearts 1, the home fans swept for a party to a funeral in like 1.6 seconds, man, that's... David can he believe it, I can't believe it, Nadie can believe it. And now we need a minor miracle, we've got not a lot of time to get two goals and find a winner. Can we do it? I don't know. We need to see something that we haven't seen today, that's for sure. Oh no, come on, Sander Clark! For fuck's sake, I mean it's not even Sander Clark, it's David. David's came out, he's got something on it. But it's still in the back of the net and now we're 3-1 down, I mean the defending there for Kieta. What even is that? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. Now we're trailing by three goals to one. I tell you what, it's just not going well for us. Thank God we got a draw in Europe. Because apart from that, this has been an abysmal episode. Offside. Offside, surely. And I don't think it is, but I think that's a red card. And I couldn't afford to go 4-1 down. I'll take the red card. And um, yeah, it's going to be a free kick edge of the box. Only a yellow card there. I'm actually, I'm absolutely shocked that that's not a red ball over the wall. Cleared away, I believe, by Kieta. Devlin heads it down. Try to place it to Balua. Balua trying to make... Oh, my God. Keep that in. He can't. That's fucking horrendous. Another good tackle for Suter. Right, come on. Oh, how, how should she give a free... Honest to fuck, how should she give a free kick there? Seriously. He could not have won the ball any better than that. Right, ball flicked on. Come on. Get it up to Balua. Balua. This needs to be a goal. We literally need to score for here. Ball out to Balua. Balua just gets pushed off the ball way too easily. And uh, that will do it. There's no way we're going to get two goals now. Going to be back-to-back -back defeats in the league, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, we can't even play a... What are we doing here? Come on. Ball up. Ball out to Balua. If we can maybe score here, there's just going to be no time left. Let's be honest. Balua gets one back. I mean, we've got one back. It's 3 2, but there's just there's no point celebrating. There's, there's just no way we can. I don't think it's mathematically possible here for us to get the ball. We'll try. But it would take a, it would take a miracle. Oh, we do get it back. Oh my god, is there a chance? Henderson. It's Henderson running here. Henderson. Oh, Jesus. No, I can't believe we actually got the ball back. We actually created enough time to have enough time to get something done. And we end up doing that, man. That's it's a tough game to take, man. 3-2 we've lost here. We just weren't good enough, I'll be honest. We were not. Win, lose, or draw. I'm not happy with the performance. And in the end, we picked up absolutely nothing. And... Uh, thank God that we got that opening win in the opening day because apart from that, guys, we've done absolutely nothing. Uh, Goon Song is injured, and now we need to find out how long for. So this could be, this could be, this news could be worse than any defeat to Kilmarnock. Let's put it that way. He's going to be for two months. Broken metatarsal. Absolutely horrendous. So there you go. I guess that makes the, the striker choice easy. Whether your team Goon Song or team Shankland. Well, now you have to be Team Shanklin by default, I guess, because that's going sung it for two months. So, yeah, guys, I'll do it. We'll be back next time. I just want to end this here and never play FIFA again. Or at least not play FIFA for the rest of the night, because two defeats in a row is that's too much for anybody to take. We'll be back. Hopefully, we can start picking up results. We need to. We need to. Let's be real. We need to. Um, we just I haven't played well enough today. It's as simple as that. Uh, we'll take on oh, next time out will be against Malmo and then we've got Mullowell and Aberdeen so big big games coming up we need to perform we need to get the results and we need to start climbing the league table but again we are in a decent position in Europe so win our next European game four points out of six I'll take that the, the league the league's long you know that's the only thing about the league you know you, you can come back from bad starts you can't come back from a bad start in the, the group stage in Europe so at least we're doing okay in Europe you know get a win here and we're sitting in a Pretty commanding position. Anyway, guys, that's it. So it's got a 90 piece suit. I will see you in the next one. Apologies for the defeat. I'll try and get better. And um, yeah, injuries aren't helping, but we'll have to fight through it. And hopefully we can back 
better and stronger on the other side. But I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.